Hey guys, Caroline here. Um, this video has been quite a long time coming. I have done very little match betting in the last few weeks. Um, apart from last week, it was Ascot and I did manage to get on and do a few offers each day. So I've made a little bit of profit there. I finally hit the 5k mark. Yay. Um, there's a couple which aren't settled there. There's some free bets from yesterday. I haven't gone through them. Um, so a couple of things I wanted to talk about in this video. One of them is the reason why I haven't been doing very much match betting. Even though I have a second set of accounts um, and I've got a lot of money sitting there on the table which I haven't done yet. There's loads of welcome offers I haven't done and so forth. My heart really isn't in it this time around. And I think the reason is when I first started doing match betting, I didn't, I kind of, I knew about gubbings, but I didn't kind of want to believe it and I really thought this was going to be something that I could do as a way to make money over the long term. I didn't necessarily expect it to be a full time income but I thought it could be a steady income and I realise now it really isn't. It's something that's a fairly short term way to make some pretty decent money. I mean there are, you know, I see people posting in the Facebook groups all the time how they've hit 10k. There's even someone that's saying they hit 100k the other day. But anyway, um, for me, it's it's nothing more than a little side income, and so I do it as and when. And with this second set of accounts in particular, I'm just not hitting them hard because I know that the more offers I do, the closer I am to being gubbed. And I think part of just slacking off and not doing some for a while, um, that is actually more likely to keep my accounts open, you know, and also I've been getting things like, oh, welcome back, here's a £20 free bet for you, things like that from various bookmakers, so I'm not, I'm not going aggressively, nowhere near like I was the first time around with my first set of accounts, so I've not been doing much at all, and what I really want to do now is focus on trading, sports trading. Now, I've talked about this several times. And basically, for months and months and months, I tried doing football trading. Because the match betting that I was doing, first of all, was mainly focused on football. And I felt that I knew more about football than horse racing. And horse racing trading seemed to be like a whole different ball game. So I thought, well, I'll do football. And honestly, it just didn't work for me. You know, I tried it for months. I signed up to various courses. I signed up to something called Gold Profits, which had tools which allow you to see all the stats live as the game was playing. But for me, it simply wasn't enough. My conclusion to that, the reason why I think I failed so badly at football, well, I didn't fail too badly. I've kind of been breaking even. You know, I'd make some money, I'd lose some money. I could never make a consistent profit and I think the reason is I'm just not a football fan I don't care about the game I can't you know I just I don't like football and I'm never ever going to watch a football game live I think that is the key crucial thing the successful football traders that I know of they learn to read the match they are watching the game live part of it is statistics and everything and part of it is is understanding the game and gut instinct and having a feel for it. And so I believe that because I simply do not like football, that I'm never going to be successful at it. And so I've decided to stop. So some time ago, I decided to try um, horse racing trading. And let me show you this website here. This is called bfscalper.com. I bought this course a while ago and I started going through it. it's a lot of videos showing how to do trading on horses now horse racing trading is something completely different to football it's something that you do you have to use software you cannot do this on the betfair interface itself so i use a piece of software called bet angel and it's totally different it's like reading a financial market it's much less to do with the actual horses themselves that are having some knowledge helps so unlike football um well, I say I'm a beginner at this, but it's more about reading the markets and understanding what's likely to happen rather than understanding all the players. And so I think that I'm more likely to be successful at horse racing trading. But again, I haven't really done it properly. I've had a little dabble, and when it goes right and the markets go in my favour, I make a profit. When it goes wrong, 
and the markets do not go in my favor it goes horribly wrong and I make a big loss now one of the nice things about bet angel software is it has something called a practice mode so I can kind of do this as I'm practicing not with real money so why am I talking about all this trading basically I've got a question do you guys want me to start a a, a trading channel if I did it would be focused purely on the horse racing trading and my ideas would be what I would do is I would show live some of the trades that I'm attempting to do so of course you can expect awful trades with it going horribly wrong show me how I'm losing money how I'm <laughs> how I'm using the software terribly badly you know because again I'm a newbie at this now I think looking back on my match betting channel the fact that I started from scratch with no experience um, was something that people resonated with because um, there's other channels out there from people that seem to be making all this money off the bat and never made any mistakes you know and I made loads of mistakes with match betting and I and I talked about that in my videos and people seem to appreciate it so this is what I would do with my channel I mean there are other channels out there I mean the creator of bet angel his name is um, Peter Webb he has a very 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 popular channel and it's another guy called Khan Berry and he's British actually now I've watched some of his videos I've got to admit though with Khan Berry uh, honestly I don't have a fucking clue what he is on about most of the time I watch his videos I'm like huh what's he doing what's he saying I've not a clue so if you want to learn from the experts the people that are really making money go watch those guys channels and there's loads of others there's tons of, of channels out there on trading so do you want another one? Is there any point to me creating a channel where I'm probably just going to fail horribly at it, which is what I would be doing? Um, now, there wouldn't be any kind of profit diaries because I would definitely be working in practice mode um, for a while. I don't think I'd want to try this with real money um, unless I felt that I could make a consistent profit. So that's really all I've got at the moment. That's all the ideas I have. Um, this is the course that I will be using. I'll be going through. Um, and yeah that's about it really so I'll continue to do videos on match betting as and when it's appropriate to do so but I'm really not doing much of it these days and I've just explained why so I think at this point if I was going to start a trading channel now would be the time because this is when I want to sort of dive back into the course I haven't done anything for about a month um, I've been really busy in my personal life um, but I'm ready to kind of go back into it again dive into these videos again load up bet angel give it another go so let me know in the comments you know I've got I'm quite amazed at how many subscribers this channel has it's over 900 now which is quite um, amazing to me so tell me if you know if I get a certain number of people that say they want a trading channel I will start one okay so uh, yeah that is it for this video sorry for the waffly one and let me know what you think